Ever wondered how a self-powered aircraft takes flight? Join us for an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at Maxwell Chikambutso's groundbreaking invention, revealing the innovative technology powering this remarkable feat of engineering. Maxwell Chikambutso had a vision, and it began not with a blueprint but with a dream of breaking barriers in aviation. Born and raised in Zimbabwe, Maxwell grew up surrounded by limitations but driven by endless possibilities. He never accepted the idea that innovation had to come from well-funded labs in the Western world. Maxwell was fascinated by flight from an early age, often sketching aircraft designs in the margins of his schoolbooks. As he grew older, his passion evolved into a mission, to build an aircraft that could fly without relying on traditional fuel sources. The challenges were daunting, with most experts saying it was impossible. But Maxwell believed that through persistence and a deep understanding of energy conversion, anything could be achieved. He began experimenting in his small workshop, using discarded electronics and salvaged motors. From the ashes of failed prototypes rose a single, clear goal, to build a self-powered aircraft that could defy expectations. The first sketches were rudimentary but packed with radical ideas. Maxwell's early designs revolved around electromagnetic propulsion and energy regeneration systems. He collaborated with local engineers and students, drawing from a pool of curious minds hungry for innovation. His garage became a hub of creativity, buzzing with the sounds of welding, coding, and debates on airflow dynamics. After years of trial and error, a rough prototype emerged, an aircraft unlike any the world had seen. Sleek, compact, and equipped with Maxwell's signature green energy unit, the model sparked global intrigue. It wasn't just the design that stood out, it was what lay beneath the surface. Inside, a revolutionary energy system harvested ambient RF, radio frequency, energy, and converted it into propulsion. No fuel tank, no combustion, no pollution, just clean, renewable power. The design process intensified as Maxwell brought in aerospace engineers from across Africa. The team mapped out every inch of the aircraft, testing materials for durability and weight. They incorporated lightweight carbon composites, reducing drag while maintaining structural integrity. The aircraft's wings were shaped for maximum lift with minimal energy input. Each bolt, wire, and panel was placed with surgical precision. The flight computer was designed in-house tailored specifically for energy efficiency and aerodynamic correction. The internal layout resembled that of a traditional light aircraft, but with modular zones for energy storage and electronics. Instead of fuel gauges, the cockpit featured real-time energy harvesting indicators. Every element spoke of purpose, innovation, and sustainability. The propeller system was unlike any seen before, powered not by a combustion engine, but by a high-efficiency magnetic drive. Maxwell integrated a wireless charging grid beneath the hangar, ensuring the aircraft could charge during maintenance checks. Even the landing gear had regenerative properties, feeding kinetic energy back into the system. By the time the prototype was ready, over 200 components had been redesigned from scratch. With design and assembly complete, attention turned to the most critical phase, testing. Every subsystem underwent rigorous scrutiny, from avionics to power distribution. Maxwell insisted on multiple layers of safety redundancy, far beyond industry norms. Simulation tests were run for hundreds of hours, replicating turbulence, system failures, and emergency landings. When ground testing began, the aircraft responded exactly as predicted. The team celebrated every milestone, from successful taxi runs to flawless vertical lift tests. The true test, however, lay in full flight. On a bright morning at an airfield in Harare, the world watched as the self-powered aircraft prepared for its maiden voyage. Maxwell stood beside his team, hands trembling with a mix of fear and anticipation. The aircraft taxied smoothly, picked up speed, and then, with a quiet hum, lifted off the ground. Cheers erupted from the crowd as the aircraft climbed into the sky, its flight as graceful as it was historic. The flight lasted just 15 minutes but proved what many believed impossible. When it landed, the energy indicators showed a net gain thanks to in-flight harvesting. This meant that the aircraft could theoretically fly indefinitely under the right conditions. Challenges weren't absent. 
turbulence caused minor data glitches, and one of the magnetic drives overheated mid-flight. But the systems responded automatically, adjusting power output and compensating instantly. Post-flight analysis revealed valuable data, sparking immediate upgrades in energy management. Over the next few months, more flights were conducted, each longer and more complex than the last. The aircraft proved reliable, resilient, and remarkably efficient. Maxwell and his team began dreaming bigger, exploring possibilities for passenger versions and cargo drones. Governments and private sectors took notice, requesting demonstrations and partnership opportunities. The implications for aviation were enormous. With no need for traditional fuel infrastructure, regions previously cut off from air transport could now build localized fleets. Carbon emissions could be drastically reduced if scaled globally. The aircraft's modularity allowed for adaptation in various industries, from agriculture to emergency medical delivery. Maxwell's vision extended beyond the aircraft itself. He imagined a global network of clean aviation, powered by ambient energy and local innovation. He worked tirelessly with educational institutions to develop training programs for future engineers. The hope was to build not just machines but minds capable of sustaining the revolution. Maxwell emphasized sustainability in every decision, from the aircraft's solar reflective paint to its biodegradable interior panels. His factory operated on renewable energy, recycling every scrap of metal and circuit. He even launched an open source initiative allowing others to build on his foundational technology. But the journey wasn't without obstacles. Patent wars, skeptics, and supply chain sabotage threatened to derail progress. Yet the team pressed on, guided by a purpose larger than profit. Media outlets slowly shifted tone, from dismissive to curious, and eventually celebratory. Documentaries began chronicling the project's rise, drawing millions of viewers online. Children sent letters to Maxwell, thanking him for making them believe in science again. Now, with momentum building, the focus shifted to what lay ahead. Maxwell organized a global summit in South Africa, inviting inventors, engineers, and policymakers. The aim was to share the technology and discuss international regulations and deployment. The summit was a milestone, establishing a collaborative framework for clean aviation worldwide. Delegates from over 40 countries attended, many pledging to support research hubs in their regions. Maxwell used the platform to announce his next phase, a two-seater urban air mobility craft. Compact and fast charging, this new model would target inner-city travel and air taxi services. The engineering began immediately leveraging data from the first aircraft. Flight range, noise reduction, and vertical takeoff capabilities were top priorities. Urban trials began in Nairobi, Johannesburg, and Kigali. Public response was overwhelmingly positive. The quiet, smooth, and eco-friendly rides captured the imagination of commuters. Investors began pouring in, pushing Maxwell's company to the forefront of next-gen aviation. Despite offers to relocate, he remained committed to building in Africa. He expanded his factory, created jobs, and empowered a new generation of tech workers. His leadership style was open, humble, and mentorship-focused. Maxwell launched a Q&A series online where people could ask anything about the aircraft. He tackled everything from physics to policy in simple, engaging terms. This direct communication built a passionate global community. Young people from rural towns and big cities alike began following his updates. They sent in sketches, ideas, and words of support. Maxwell's aircraft became more than a machine, it became a movement. People started forming local maker clubs inspired by his open source plans. Universities integrated his energy principles into their STEM curricula. The aviation industry, once rigid and dominated by a few, was now opening to diverse talent. With environmental urgency mounting, Maxwell's invention came at the right moment. He showed that big change doesn't require billion-dollar budgets, just relentless passion and collaboration. As the aircraft clocked more miles, media shifted from novelty to serious coverage. Science journals began publishing peer-reviewed studies on its energy systems. Airports adapted infrastructure to test self-powered aircraft lanes. 
the conversation turned from, if it works, to how fast can we scale? Maxwell remained focused, never losing sight of his mission. He often said, if we can power the skies sustainably, we can power anything. His technology began appearing in unrelated sectors, self-powered boats, road vehicles, and even homes. Collaborations with energy startups bloomed. He created a nonprofit foundation to fund youth-led green innovation. Looking ahead, Maxwell plans to build Africa's first aerial transport corridor using only his aircraft. It will connect schools, hospitals, and farms across long distances in minutes. He hopes this will show the world that Africa can lead in future-ready infrastructure. As more people witness his aircraft in action, belief spreads like wildfire. From blueprints to flight, this journey proves what vision, unity, and daring can achieve. Maxwell Chikumbutso has not only built an aircraft, he's reshaped how the world sees African innovation. And this is just the beginning.